Well, let's now focus on international news and news from Iran, where Iranians took to the streets around the country yesterday once again to protest against the killings of several youths in the widely documented crackdown on demonstrations that were sparked by Mahasa Amini's death. The clerical state has been gripped by six weeks of protests that erupted when the 22-year-old died in custody after her arrest for an alleged breach of Iran's strict dress rules for women. Security forces have struggled to contain this uh, women-led protest and there have been allegations of unlawful killings as well uh, by the security forces as well as a brutal crackdown. Uh, well, to talk more about the, what's happening in Iran, we're now joined by Marzia Hashemi, a senior Iran journalist with Press TV there. Thank you so much for joining us on NDTV. If you can tell us what is the situation right now around the country, we're hearing about all these protests and we're also hearing about the crackdown against the young protesters. Well, thank you for having me. I, I mean, I find it really interesting <laughs> the angle that you started off with the story. I, I'm a journalist myself because uh, when you're talking about yesterday and uh, demonstrations uh, around the country, yeah, there were demonstrations around the country. As a matter of fact, there were massive demonstrations throughout the country pro-government demonstrations. Um, as you know, I, I hope you guys know that there was a, a terrorist attack in Iran that took place on Thursday, um, where shrine, Daesh yes, in which 15 people were killed. Yeah, and, he, in, and, yes. and killed, yeah, exactly. In fact, the Indian government too has condemned this, condemned this attack that has taken place in, uh, at Indeed, the shrine that came a, in today evening. And that brought the people, that brought the people together um, as far as uh, demonstrating against that violence. And also what you have to understand is that Iran is a safe country. We are not used to seeing any kind of unrest. Yes, there has been uh, demonstrations, of course, from um, uh, various circles. And in, in Iran, there should be the right to demonstrate like anywhere else. Uh, the situation here, the problem is, is that uh, usually uh, Western infiltrators, people who are trying to control the scenario, um, not for the Iranian people, but uh, for themselves um, against an independent Iran. So in general, first of all, I have to say that the country as a whole um, is stable and we have seen some demonstrations, but it is not like this. In so you're mass, saying the, uh, the demonstrations that took place yesterday that, uh, you know, while we've seen a lot of demonstrations against the rules, against the, the regime, uh, they've also yesterday you're saying the demonstrations were mixed, that there were also demonstrations in favor uh, and as a reaction to the attack that took place at the shrine. Well, the majority of demonstrations that took place yesterday was actually um, against what happened at the shrine, against the unrest that has been taking place in general. The majority of Iranians realize that and understand the value of having security. Um, you know, the, the main slogan that, uh, that uh, uh, some of these demonstrators were talking about as far as women and life and freedom, the reality is that if there is no security, there is no living, there is no freedom, and women are not important either in that situation. The reality in Iran is not how it's being presented by mainstream media. I'm an American. I'm an American woman yes. working in Iran, and I've chosen to live in Iran because, one, I've raised my kids here because of the safety in this country. We don't yes, have and you're, the and you're married that we there. expect. Yes. I'm sorry. I said you're married there as well. Your husband is from uh, Iran. If you could tell us. Uh, so what is if you could tell us about, my, you know, the husband, protest and died years ago. the my women also years protesting, ago, you know, wanting the right to not wear the hijab. It's interesting for us in India because currently we have we've had protests in, in, in one of our states in which women were protesting the right to be allowed to wear hijab. And that was exactly. something, you know, that again became a matter of choice, whether in Iran women don't want to wear, whether in India they want to wear and they want to protest. It again becomes, you know, imposing will on the women, not allowing them to choose. Well, that let is me how just say, it's let, being let me just seen. Jump in here with, the, with, you know, wording is, is, is everything. Vocab is very important um, because, uh, first of all, in the Islamic Republic, yes, it's an Islamic Republic. This was uh, something chosen 44 years ago. And yes, within that confine, there are laws, various laws that have been implemented. Now, whether the Iranian law will change or not, I think that's up to the Iranian people. But let me say, even now, um, the women, basically those who choose not to wear hijab, even before these demonstrations, um, they would wear a scarf on the back of their head 
are around their neck. Um, I don't think that the way it is being framed in the so-called international community as this is, has been um, such an oppressive state and women have not been able to advance. Uh, more than 60% of the university students are females. Um, is that likely in a society that is end? female? Not at all. Iranian women are very strong, have been, um, and, and trust me, they're anything but oppressed. So this is being something that is framed um, by the West. I mean, all 44 right, years, you're United, the, the way United States portrayed. and others have been trying to overthrow this revolution. You're saying the way it's being portrayed, but it's been concerning also to hear about deaths taking place as the protests are, ta you know, taking place. That there's been a crackdown. Death. Iranian government has repeatedly said that you know there are foreign powers that are orchestrating uh, these protests, but we've not seen much, you know, evidence to that effect. Really? Because if you do the investigation, you could actually see it. This has been a multifaceted attack from the tech side, um, from media side. I'll give you an example. Just in dealing with the attack on the shrine, you go and look at how it was framed, how the reaction. You have to look at this, the majority of Farsi-speaking um, stations are actually outside of this country instead of inside the country and are targeted. You have to look at the way that everything is being framed and this is being broadcasted. Um, throughout this country. Basically, when the terrorist attacks uh, took place, what they were saying was that, oh, this is from the regime itself, just trying to uh, change the narrative until Daesh actually took responsibility for the situation and some of them came back and had to change the narrative. That's how it's been throughout this time. Um, you said that the, the regime, as you call it, has cracked down on demonstrators. Let me just say that, it, listen, police violence is not systemic in this country. Um, I don't say that things have not happened. I'm sure that they would happen in any country, but it is not systemic. If any any police any in, throughout this time has actually gone beyond the law, they're going to be tried. Listen, I'm American. <laughs> we, right, we see police violence saying, every yes. day. Every day people are killed. I'm a black American, so I really get it, right? And no one has ever hardly charged the police there. So this is not really about Masa Amini. This is about regime change because the same country, the United States and its allies, that are talking so much about Iranian women, these are the same countries, the United States, leading the sanctions where Iranian women, if they're suffering from any kind of diseases, can't get specialized medicine or bandages for various disease. So you can't, on the one hand, feel so much for Iranian women, but on the other hand, see them die. And by the way, the sanctions, a couple of yes. Iranian women also died in Shiraz at the shrine on Thursday. Yes, women and children died hashtags. among the 15 who were killed. We would love killed. to see hashtags and honoring them and wanting an end to terrorism across the board. Well, all right. Uh, thank you so much, Amazia Hashemi, for speaking to us. It's You're interesting welcome. to hear, you know, your view as well and, 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 and the way you are portraying what's happening currently in Iran. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.